Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Video Ask a Master, where we discuss all things Mimeo. In this edition, we're going to be talking about how easy it is to import and embed video files into your Mimeo Studio notebook. But we're going to go ahead and also take it a step further and talk about how to use video to create an interactive lesson. My name is Paul Giuliotti. I am a full-time social studies teacher located right outside of Cleveland, Ohio. I also serve a few capacities for Mimeo as a Mimeo master, a Mimeo quick learn instructor, and also the Mimeo Connect site manager. The other day I received a simply outstanding question from one of our users, M. Terry, who said, I would like to embed a video into my Mimeo lesson. How do I do that? Well, and Terry, I want to thank you for asking such an excellent question. So let me go ahead and help you with that. We're going to run through the process of how easy it is to embed video or any content for that matter into your Mimeo Studio notebook. And then I'm going to go ahead and share with you a practical example of how to use video with your lesson effectively. So let's go ahead and start with the technical part of this. There are three easy ways to import video or any kind of content into Mimeo Studio Notebook. So we'll go ahead and pull those three ways down. The first way that you can go ahead and insert video into your Mimeo Studio Notebook is to go on up to Insert here in my Notebook uh, toolbar. And then I'm just going to cruise on down to File. Insert and then File will take me to an open menu where I'll be able to then look through all the different files on my computer to find the video file that I am looking for. And in fact, here's an AVI that I could go ahead and open. The second way is to use the Insert File button that's located on your Mimeo toolbar. So let me go ahead and grab my Mimeo toolbar. Here it is. And you'll notice that right underneath our triangle button, I actually have the star on right now, but there's a triangle. Uh, we have this little button here. Uh, it's a file folder with an arrow, and that's our Insert File button. I'm going to go ahead and press that Insert File button. And again, what I'll get is that same open menu that allows me to browse through all my files. I can choose my uh, video file and then go ahead and hit Open. Still, there's a third way. You can take any file or piece of content that you'd like to place into your Mimeo notebook and simply drag and drop it directly into your notebook page. So we could go on uh, into our documents or we could go onto our desktop and simply drag and drop a file right into our notebook page. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this. Uh, first off, let's go to Insert and then File. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this small video that I have and go ahead and click Open. When I do that, Mimeo is going to go ahead and it's going to import that video for me. And there you see, here it is. And it's actually going to go through a whole conversion method right now. As you can see, that's starting at the bottom of my screen. Depending on the size of the video, it'll take a few moments for that to convert and then you should be able to play the video with the on-screen controls. The second way to go ahead and insert a video file is to use the insert file button that we talked about here on the Mimeo notebook tools. Uh, the insert file button is underneath the triangle and above your color selections right next to screen clipping. And again, we can go ahead and we can press that button and it will take us to that very same open menu that we just had a look at where we're going to select the video that we want to import. And then we'll go ahead and click open. Once again, what's going to happen is that the video itself is going to be converted. And as soon as that converting process is over, we'll be able to go ahead and play that video just like we did with the insert file option. And you can see my notebook down here converting it right now. Once it's converted, then we can go ahead and move the video around like any other object in Mimeo notebook. I'm just going to go ahead and set it right in here. And we could size it up as we like. All right, the third and final way to import video or content into our Mimeo notebook is the simple drag and drop option. Now, I know everybody out there can drag and drop. And to prove it to you, I brought along a simple AVI file here on my desktop. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this AVI file right off the desktop, and I'm simply going to, like magic, drop it right onto my notebook page. And as soon as I release my mouse button, 
it'll go through that same process we've seen before where it will bring the video in start that conversion process and depending on how big the video is uh, the conversion will go ahead work itself out and you'll be able to once again move that video around uh, or adjust it like any other object that you have here in Mimeo Studio Notebook. So those three ways are as easy as it can be to go ahead and insert video into your Mimeo Notebook. So that's the technical way of importing video into your Mimeo Notebook, but let's take it a step further now because importing the video is only half of the process because, of course, what we want to do is we want to use the video in an interactive way that's actually going to benefit my students. And whenever I put together a lesson, I always look at the Mimeo quality content criteria to make sure that I have items from our checklist in my lesson and I'm going to show you a couple of those right now. If you'd like to learn more about the Mimeo quality content criteria you may want to join the Make My Lesson Better group at MimeoConnect.com where they have all kinds of examples of using uh, that criteria with your lessons. So let's go ahead and have a look at the lesson that I put together here for you. Uh, first and foremost uh, I am a social studies teacher so uh, my lesson is uh, focused on the Gettysburg Address and I have a short little activity here that I've put together uh, to show off one of the quality content criteria uh, allowing for a lesson that is based on student focused interactivity. Remember with Mimeo Studio software we have all sorts of opportunities for interactivity, all sorts of opportunities for active learning. So rather than the teacher just standing up there and putting the information up, we can have the kids interacting with the content. Rather than the students just sitting there watching the video, we can do something like this where I've went ahead and I've imported my video let me go ahead and make that look a little nicer for you. There you go. I went in and I ported my video on this side of the screen. And now if I pull down my objective, what's going to happen here is that the students are going to watch that short video clip that recites the Gettysburg Address on the right-hand side of the screen. And then I'm going to have a student or two up at the board using the Mimeo pen or using a Mimeo pad. And on this right reveal, they're going to write down in their own words what they think the Gettysburg Address is saying. So we'll go ahead and we'll play the video and the students will sort of translate over here in the right reveal what they think the Gettysburg Address is all about. And forgive me, I'm just sort of writing with my desktop mouse here. Uh, but afterwards, you kind of get the idea, but afterwards what's going to happen now is after we watch the two-minute speech by Lincoln, after the kids have written, written down some of the things in, that they believe the speech says in their own words, then we use this right reveal here and we're able to reveal the important points. And now as the teacher, I can go over those important points and I can check back to see if the students got any of those. Super interactive. Now, that's the basic instructional piece of it. Let's take it a step further and let's give the students a chance to practice the skill. Right? Opportunities at practicing the skill are critical in the learning process. So, you know, we had an interactivity there. We, it was completely student focused. Now the kids get to practice. And this one's a lot of fun here. Uh, this one says, Abe Lincoln often carried important documents under his famous hat. To complete Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, the students will use the selection tool to drag the missing words, you guessed it, out from under Abe's hat and drop them into the correct location in the speech. So now as the teacher, I say, okay, class, here's the first minute of Abraham Lincoln's speech. Who wants to come up and pull one of the missing words out of Abe's hat? Oh, look, there it is. And now let's see, we have to go ahead and put this in here. Hmm. And they have to find the spot where these words go. And I think it goes down there. And then they pull out some more words. And you go from there. Then we have a link down here. It's going to take us to the second minute of Abe's speech, uh, sort of the finale. And it actually jumped one too far there, but you should get the idea. And again, then we're going to pull out these words and put them in. Again, we're giving the opportunity for the students to practice, reciting the speech. What does the speech mean? Learning about the speech. 
So after we've had that student-focused interactivity, after we've given the students opportunities to practice and work with the actual speech, think about how powerful that would be in the classroom, that hands-on experience, living the speech, not just hearing it, not just seeing it or reading it, but actually reconstructing it, putting together, have, causing you to think about where those words go. Now it's time for your assessment piece. And of course, whenever you do assessment, you want that assessment to be measurable. You want to see if your learning objectives have been met. And what better tool? for measurable assessment than Mimeo Vote. Absolutely wonderful. Putting interactivity in the hands of every single student. Mimeo Vote also creates a, a, an atmosphere where all students are okay with answering the question. They don't have that fear of getting it wrong. You're going to get 100% participation and you're going to get instant measurable assessment and feedback to see if your kids got it. So as we go through here, we can pull down our objectives and basically now that the students have gone over the Gettysburg Address, they've actually played with the words and the text, now they're going to go through and we're going to see how much of it that, uh, that they were able to learn with a series of Mimeo vote questions. So you can see not only can we import video very, very easily, into our Mimeo notebook and into our interactive lessons, but if we use it correctly, we can create some extremely powerful lessons based on that Mimeo quality content criteria. Once again, my name is Paul Giuliotti and I am thrilled to be here with you all. Thank you so much for such an excellent question, M. Terry. And if any of you have a question, please feel free to visit us at mimeoconnect.com slash askamaster. By the way, this video uh, does include that interactive bonus lesson what's under or Abe's hat and you can go on out to that uh, link there and find it as well as the link that's on the web page below the video so again thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again real soon here on video ask a master